It's like suiting up for battle, which may sound extreme, but as Jeremy McClure and his crew can attest, trying to eradicate one of the world's most invasive plants is no easy task. Each one of these stems will need to be injected. So you can see, like right in the immediate area, there's about six stems there. And uh, they could be sharing nutrients through the rhizomes underneath the ground. You can see the roots coming out a little bit there. So by hitting each plant, then you can ensure that, uh, that they'll stay dead. By leaving one plant, then it will be able to reproduce again. How fast is it growing? Um, I've seen patches that were mowed, and they were mowed down to the ground, yeah. and within two weeks, they're a meter tall. And that is the biggest problem with Japanese knotweed. It quickly takes over, killing off native plants and dominating stream banks. The Invasive Species Council will spend several hours treating three huge patches of knotweed in this North Vancouver District Park. We've been going for two months now, 40 hours a week with a four-person crew, and our, it's, our work seems like it's never-ending right now. Invasive species have become a bigger problem in recent years. Just last month, there was the hunt for the predatory snakehead fish in Burnaby Central Park. When it was finally caught, biologists found several other non-native animals in the pond. The giant hogweed with its toxic sap has sprouted up in several municipalities around the province. But the problem is there is no regional coordination. Invasive species certainly do not respect jurisdictional boundaries. And so in a very small geographic region with a whole bunch of boundaries. Uh, you know, we certainly need cooperation with the neighbors to be working on things together. I mean, so often you see infestations or right on the other side of the fence there's more, but you have to stop treating because you're only treating for that jurisdiction, not the neighboring ones. This week, the council is asking Metro Vancouver for funding and resources to develop a regional strategy, and the sooner the better. Invasive species aren't just a nuisance. Knotweed can grow through concrete, destroying infrastructure in the process. So even with the crew working as fast as they can, it's just a matter of time before that happens here.